This is Anise Hyssop. Uh, the botanic name on this plant is Agastache Paniculum, which loosely translated stands for many spikes of fennel. And you can see this plant is aptly named because of all the beautiful flower spikes. But also, if you take the leaves and crush them, uh, it smells like black licorice. So this plant is used in making teas and in various recipes that uh, require like a licorice flavor. It's also a tremendous pollinator, especially for bumblebees. And you can see we've got several bees on the plant right now. And I've been out here when there's been as many as 15. There's probably about a half dozen on here now. This plant typically grows between two and five feet. However, this one is six and a half feet tall. They like full sun, but they can grow in partial shade, but I wouldn't put them in an area that gets less than four hours of sunlight because what'll happen is they'll get leggy and they may flop over and they also won't get as many blooms on them. Uh, they're very hardy though. They're not picky about the soil, but they do like well-drained soil. Let's take a look at it here a little bit more and you can see just more of these pollinators. But it's not just bumblebees. You'll get sweat bees and other types of bees. You'll also get white butterflies. I've seen a bunch of them on here. Hummingbirds. And then once these flowers go to seed, the sparrows and the finches will come in and eat those seeds. This plant is very easily propagated. Uh, they propagate very easily on their own with seeds. I mean, they disperse these seeds all over the place and they are very aggressive so you'll have to keep them in check that's one thing about these plants uh, they do self seed and they do it very well but it's very easy to maintain them all you got to do is pull them out where you don't want them or you can just take a hoe and you know just hoe them out of the ground uh, their roots when they're young are not very deep but this is a terrific plant if you're looking to add native plants to your flower garden this is where i would start this is actually i would say right up there with being one of my favorite plants overall i mean it's just a really cool plant and the great thing also is it blooms from like june all the way through to i've seen it bloom all the way to the first frost in october now they say until the end of september but i've seen it bloom a little bit longer if you're new to the native plant space and you want to kind of ease into it this is one that's almost fail proof and you're going to be very impressed because it's got beautiful blooms it smells great and it's very hardy it's going to grow just about anywhere unless you put it in the shade and unless you drown it with water uh, those are the only things that are going to do it in put it in sun put it in well-drained soil and this plant's going to do great so this is one i highly recommend